All right, welcome back, YouTubers. Today we got December Patreon rewards. So it is the month of December, so that means it's the month of giving. So every patron for this month will get some cool freebies. So along with your everyday or every month patron giveaways, each patron will get a deck box, holds cards in the Magic the Gathering deck protector sleeves. Um, Chandra right there in the front. Each one of you guys are going to get one of these. Also, each one of you guys will get the Throne of Eldrain Gift Edition Life Counter, which are going for about five dollars. These are pretty cool looking. So there you go. Each one of you guys will get that, and you guys will also get one of my cool pre-made foil packs, which have your commons, three uncommons, your rares, token, and land cards in there. So. Again, all from different sets, all foil cards. Um, so all that free stuff for you guys for the month of December because, again, appreciate you guys joining up. Appreciate Dylan, Linda, David, Oscar, our new patron, and Sterling, our new patron. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to get started with Mr. Sterling. He has joined for the one pack. He's also going to be getting an Order of Midnight Showcase Foil card, which is valued at almost 4 bucks. So already he's gotten his money back. So first back to Mr. Sterling. Good luck, sir, for Guilds of Ravnica. We're going to see what we get for him. Um, let's look at the Uncommons. We have Clear the Stage, Rakdos Firewheeler, not too bad, Junk Troller, and for the Rare... Judith Scorch Diva. That's actually not a bad hit. I believe there's also foil, maybe? No, nope, no, it's the Gilgate. So, not too bad, sir. There you go, Sterling. Thank you very much again. These cards will be mailed to you soon. All right, we can put that to the side for Mr. Sterling. Next up will be for David. David has told me he wanted to opt in for Swore the Spark. Tafiri, I think he already pulled the Tafiri, but there's still some pretty good, decent cards in here. Here we got for Mr. David, Jace's Triumph, Bolt Ben, Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage, and he pulled a Mythic Rolesk Apex Hybrid. So, usually when I pull this, that means there's at least a Liliana or Nicol Bolas in there. So, uh, we're going to keep on opening from this box, guys. One of you guys are going to pull this. So let me know what you guys want for the next month. But congratulations, David, with the Mythic Pool. And for your free card of the month, a Foil Castle Garen Brig, which is also valued about 4 bucks. So there you go, David. All right, let's put that to the side. Now for Miss Linda, we're going to go for Core 2020. Out of the box. Here we go. Miss Linda will be getting Colossus Hammer, Lomi Shaman, Devout Decree, and Graph Digger's Cage for a couple bucks. Dismal Backwater. And your free card of the month, Erotic Registrar, Core 20. There you go. Pretty decent rare there. So there you go, Linda. And we got our five booster packs here for Mr. Oscar for the month. Thank you for joining this month to Sterling and Oscar for this month's um, patronage. For him, he will be getting Omnith Locus of the Royal along with a foil Rise and Reef Uncommon. So you should play well together. There you go, sir. That's your free two cards and for your five packs. Let's go with a War of Spark, Ravnica. Core 2020, and let's go with another War of the Spark because we feel like there's going to be a Mythic in there, huh? Another, maybe a Liliana. And then we'll open Mr. Dylan's box after this. All right, good luck to Oscar. Let's see what we can get. There you go. That's my favorite comment of all time, all time because I seem to pull this card on the first card every single pack. Dread Malkin. Bond of Flourishing, Heartwarming Redemption. So that means we're going to get 
a Planeswalker. Oh my goodness, Vivian Champion of the Wilds. This one has been rising up in price. Not too bad there for the rare Planeswalker hit. Oscar. Next pack, we are going to get Jace's Triumph, Grateful Apparition, Nahiri Storm of the Stone, and that you'll also receive that. And a finale of <laughs> Devastation. There you go. Awesome hit. So two packs already, Mr. Oscar. Two great pulls. All right, Ravnica. Let's start with this one. Here we go. We got to put those in sleeves. We got a Consecrate Consume, Smelt Ward, Clan Guild Mage, and a <laughs> Bionic Ooze. Mythic and a foil to face. Wow. Two mythics already, guys, for Mr. Oscar. What a great start for him. That is a great start. Here we go. Pack number. If he gets another mythic, I think I am just trolling everyone and repacking all this and giving these so everyone else can join. Sphinx of the Guild Pack and Unbreakable Formation. Not too bad. There you go. And Core 2020 for his last pack. We got Herald of the Sun, Gruesome Scourger, Noxious Grasps. I think there's a foil in there too. Shared Summons and a foil mountain. Not too bad. So we pulled two Mythics, a Vivian, uh, Myth, uh, sorry, Myth, that, that Vivian Planeswalker. So. Wow, great pulls for his first pull of the month. So congratulations, Oscar. Those will be sent out to you soon with your freebies. All right, and now to Mr. Dillon's box of his choice of the month, which was Core 2020. Let's hope he pulls. You know, the, the most expensive car now is... Uh, let me get, <laughs> keep on telling myself, I need to get a knife, I need to get a knife. Um, it's actually Vivian out of the Core 2020. She has taken the top spot of this set, and I believe she's up to $17. But overall value from this set, or from the booster box, is still pulled between $90 to $100 per box. So not a bad choice, Mr. Jelly. Good luck, sir. I hope we get some fire pulls here. Let's start with the first pack. I don't ruin it. There we go. All right, Dylan. Here we go. Iron Roof Warlord, Captain Geyer, Corpse Knight. I think that's the error. Yes, maybe. No, the 2 3 is error. Voracious Hydra. Not too bad. And a foil, Prismite. Put it to the side. Again, Christmas, guys. I hope you guys have done all your Christmas shopping. There were some great deals for Black Friday. Not so great deals for Cyber Monday. Marauding Raptor for the rare. Um, I was able to pick up some great deals. And just make sure you guys continue to check my Patreon page out. I'm always listing deals for the patrons. So that way you guys get the heads up on all the great deals first. Scholar of the Ages, Manifold Key, Temple of Silence for their first rare land of the set scry land sorry. Uh, until, before I announce it all to my viewers so we have Chandra I'm actually going to throw that in since it's a myth uh, planeswalker overcome and a brought back for the rare uh, just like the one I posted for Kaladesh put that up and that thing sold out pretty quickly after I um, let everyone know on the channel. Apostle Purifying Light Hardcover. Chandra Acolyte of Fame Flame for the $5 rare. Not too bad there. Let's hope you pull the Trifecta with the Mythic pull also. And of course, the uh, Dylan, don't worry. You'll be getting your surprise card at the end, like always. Cerulean, Drake, and Leyline of Sanctity for our first Leyline. And a Foil Swamp. Around this time, everyone's 
hitting that wallet fatigue because we're spending so much. Um, but hopefully you guys are budgeting. I know that it's a great time to pick up. Uh oh, overgrown elemental and scheming symmetry. It's a great time to pick up booster boxes at the same time singles because uh, auctions on eBay because people are spending so much don't have that much money left over so it's a great time to pick up and snipe some auctions out there fencing ace season of growth and shifting ceratops that i believe is now at five dollars for core set 20 so rising in price just because of how well it does against mono blue or counter decks and it's a great sideboarding card um so it's a lot of flexibility in it we got Icon of Ancestry and a Foil Fathom Feet Cutthroat. All right, where's all the hits, guys? Come on, Dylan. We're going to pull you some fire soon. Here we go. Challenger Spitfire and Tails End. It's only one third of the way, so no need to worry. We got to pull some great cards, just like uh, your... Scampering Scorcher, Jackaseth, Maw of Flames. That's some some people's favorite card. It's just a killer card when it, you are able to get it out on the battlefield. It just destroys everything. But like his box of Modern Horizons. We were sweated there until the very end when we were able to pull uh, Ren and Six. A couple other good cards there. A Gargos Vicious Watcher. All right, one third through the way. Uh, but you won't be disappointed, Mr. Dylan. So, again, I don't like to see people get hosed. I'm always grateful to have you guys. There are Cavalier Thorns for the first Mythic pull. And a foil Manifold key. Not too shabby. First Mythic. Hopefully it's a five Mythic box. Now we got... Masterful Replication. Bishop of Wings, which isn't worth much. I finally was able to complete... My dual land set. I'll be posting that soon. My graded dual land set. Bloodthirsty Aerialist and Hanged Executioner. Uh, took me a while. Took a long time just on eBay. Waiting for auctions to end. And having to snipe several different auctions to get the best price. But it was worth it at the very end. The second ley line, which is ley line of anticipation. And I forget which one. I believe Leyline and Anticipation is three, four dollars now. Leyline and the Void kind of settled down. I believe it's around seven, eight, nine dollars somewhere around there. Scampering Scorcher and Thunderkin Awakener. And here we go. Thrashing brought it on. Dragon Mage. Yarox Wave Casher, Knight of the Evil Legion. I believe that's $8, $70 now. And a Foil Rugged Highlands. Great card though. Knight deck. Black Mono. A lot of flexibility what you can use for it, but awesome card. Diviner's Lockbox. Guild of the Dead. Pre ban. It was. Oh my god. I wish I would have pulled this for you pre ban. Because this is, I don't know if it's still a high dollar card, but Foil Veil of the Summer, guys. That's, I got to check that price. But pre-ban, it was, I think it was 20 bucks, 15, 20 dollars. Um, because I, pull, I pulled one of those early on. I think it was my first M20 uh, box opening. But pre-ban, because it's such a great sideboard card, another Chandra that it was just out of control there you go soaring imperious blood lord for our second mythic and a foil planner cleansing rare there you go sir soaring for our second mythic 
Let's hope we pull some more Planeswalkers. And we can pull you that Vivian and Chandra. So let's go. Vampire rule dot Lotus Field for the rare. I feel like that's still undervalued, guys. Still a lot of potential, I think, that we can get from that. But pretty decent there. All right, we're, we're starting to get hot now, Dylan. Starting to get hot. Shared summons. I think that's our second one. Foil Island. I'll make sure that these are settled there so we don't get anything. But that Veil of Summer, I got to check that price for you. I'll post it up. All right, we got Agent of Treachery. I believe that's two, three dollars. And a Foil Ancestral Blade. And you should at least be pulling two foil rares. So let's see what we get. Villas, Broker of Blood. Flood of Tears for our second rare, as I said. Not the, not the foil I wanted, unless it's come up in price. Let's see what we got. Another Veil of Summer. I'll throw that in. We got our second Skyland Temple of Triumph. I believe that's our uh, most expensive Scry land in the set. I don't know if maybe second most. Well, oh, mixing it up here. Again, Gargos Vicious Watcher, Bone to Ash. That's two doubles back to back. Here we go. Iron Root, Dragon Mage, Tomb Bound, and Yara because I just for our third Mythic. So not too bad with the Mythic pulls. I'm, I'm hoping there's two more in here, sir. Let's hope we pull some nastiness soon. Come on. Bag of Holding. Let me hold this bag. Like that. There we go. Uh-oh, what did I miss? <laughs> Wake Root Elemental? Again? I, I'm pretty sure I pulled that one. An Ox Foil. Why, why do I feel like I'm pulling a lot of these rares twice? I feel like that was our third duplication rare there. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Repeated Reverberation. All right. Five more packs, Dylan. At the end, I'll reveal to you what your card will be. Depending, there's a Rising Reef. Knife Pack Ambusher. Pretty decent rare. And the Rising Reef. But I think Rising Reef may have dropped in price a little bit due to um, the Field of the Dead being banned. Dawn from Dreams. All right, three more packs. Leyline of the Void, Vivian, or Chandra. One of those. Come on. Let's see what we got. Legion's End, which isn't too bad. Used as a board wipe for the beginning games, the start of games. Another Veil of Summer. And we got Kalia Zenith Seeker for our fourth mythic. All right, let's get a little shake and bake going off of Mr. Dylan. Let's hope to see what we got. All right, here we go. And Flood of Tears non foil. So, Mr. Dylan, for you, sir, I do got something uh, special for you. Give me one second. I actually forgot it, so I'm going to have to be right back. All right, and because it's Christmas, sir, you will be getting your fifth mythic, Chandra, Awakened Inferno, to kind of put the cherry on top of it. So, again, congratulations to Dylan, uh, Oscar, Sterling, David, and Linda. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys again. And because Dylan was the very first patron, those are the type of things he does get. So, again, appreciate all of you, though. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.